So, all right, so we're going to go quickly. Um, I'm having issues. Please try and mute yourselves. Let me. Okay, that's from Stanley. Please don't unmute your uh, your microphone unless you are told to do that. So we're going to go quickly. So from what we shared yesterday, we looked at um, DSY, we looked at gold, AUD, New Zealand, AUD, New Zealand, a whole lot of pairs. So I'm going to quickly rush it up. So, so I already showed us for Euro USD, I already told us about price being at a support level that is quite significant. So I did a whole lot of illustration from the monthly chart, weekly chart, into the daily chart. So I'm not gonna repeat that this morning. I, I will assume that we have gone through the previous video I shared yesterday. So if you have not gone through it, this one is also on recording. What you do is actually, after this one, just go over the old and then continue from this one because I'm not gonna go headlong again to repeat myself because this is gonna last for barely 30 minutes so already i told you that we're expecting gap in the market and it's as a result of high volatility for some of us that are new so if you check out here for euro usd we had the gap already so even from the support level that we're looking at so we had the gap so this gap developed so for some of us that are new, one well, few persons that are new, this is a gap in the market. So that alone has showed us um, the way to follow for the market. So I'm just trying to follow up with what we actually discussed yesterday. I'm not going to break anything down. So. For Euro USD, our bias is bullish. We're already bullish on that pair. So, which I gave, which I, I which I said yesterday, but I said well, I wanted us to see this signal. So, once it was 10 p.m. Nigerian time, I was able to tell us that the market is open and we've seen the gap. So, if we're able to put a trade at that time, for some of us that have a target of 30 pips in a day, in one trade, as the case may be, that was good entry. But also, I told you that you don't also ignore your economic events. So we are expecting unemployment rates in the next one hour, 28 minutes from European countries. So that could also tell more. So well, apart from that, we're already bullish on this. So, but once that economic event comes out to be negative and USD is already because I already showed you that from the DXY, which I'm going to go back to now. So these are DXY. These are dollar index. For some of us that do know, this is the dollar index. So I already told you about this level on the WhatsApp group, 96.855. So the price was currently at this zone. I'm using the simplest form to approach the market. There's nothing complex. All the, all the complex illustration is done in the old video. So from here already, we are already down. And I told you that the, 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 what we could just get from here, the least we can get from here can be a flag. So that's the pullback you may see. 
But once you see that pullback, it's an opportunity for the big move. So, and this can take us from now till Friday. So just try and be on that trade. Remember DXY, as I said, once we are bearish, this cell, this is bearish. So once we are bearish on that pair, automatically we are selling off the US. So I'm trying to review back those information so that we will not miss out. Um, I said DSY correlates with USD pairs. Um, look at what I mean by USD pairs. How to explain? For some of us that are, um, are um, will I use professional traders? Or for some of us are above average. So um, never mind the breakdown I'm trying to use because we'll have um, new traders with us. So this is what we mean by USD pairs. Either USD card or Euro USD. This, that's why I put out this XS. So, and I already gave you an information on, on DXY here. So, I already told you that DXY at this the major. So, as long as this resistance holds, so we are selling off the US. What does that mean? Euro USD, you are, you are supposed to buy, USD card is supposed to sell, USD chair is supposed to sell as the case may be. So the ones that will give you the big move are actually the currency that are stronger, that are showing strength in the market, just like GDP. Um, I've already told you something like that. GDP, USD, GDP chef. These ones already gave us signals, clear confirmation before the market opened. Especially GDP chef had a clear confirmation, which has taken up to 30, 35, 40 pips now. So if you're a scapper, you must have done justice to that trade. So, um, for the DXY, as I told you, um, we are already bearish on the DXY. So take note, and it's already um, going as we speak. So the, the 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 most you can get out of it is the flag I told you. That's the most you can get out of it. So just watch out for the flag, and you are in the trade. So you have a stop loss and take profit. So that's that for DXY. So that's the update. We'll, we'll come back towards the end of today. And as the day goes by, we'll keep updating ourselves. So that's the information we have for DXY. So now back to Euro USD. So back to Euro USD. Okay, I've told you that we are bullish on this pair. GDP USD. So this is the um, H1 for GDP. Let me go to. Okay, I already illustrated this yesterday. So, and um, we had this breakout some time ago. So the price, this was where we had the breakout. So it retested. So I was I was expecting a continuation. So already, already the market is giving um, a sign of continuation. So, and I think we'll have some information about Brexit today. So when you go to my FS book, you check it out and know the time. So for this, we are we are bullish on GDP USD. So I'm just coming back here to check my currency meter, just like I told you. Um, for those that don't have the currency meter, I'll make it available for you. Then USD is just the weakest. We don't forecast with the currency meter, but we use it to when, uh, to see the progress of what we are actually watching out for. So JPY, I talked about JPY yesterday. I told you about selling up JPY yesterday. So some of us should be smart enough to be in the trade. Or as I show you, you know how you, could, you can be able to enter. So AUD is already giving us the strength that we're expecting. So this is for AUD. So I, I used AUD to talk so much yesterday. So, and I ended up um, with the pivot. So, and um, with the pivot that I showed you yesterday, 
I talked extensively on this pair, so I'm not going to talk about it again. Just go back to the old video. We use the pearl, pearl green for the monthly. So this is the monthly, the pearl green. So for the we use the sky blue for the weekly. We used sky blue for the weekly, and then we used the the pink for the daily. So we already saw that price was um was above this um two pivot lines. So just the weekly that we had ahead. So that alone told us that we are bullish, but somehow we said it was at the critical point because it was below this. So immediately the market opened. We saw the market open here, which I told you with the with the with the way it was. I showed you with the Fibonacci levels, which matched up with this line I drew here. I showed you with the, I, I did a whole lot of illustration, so I'm not going to repeat it. But what happened was that the market opened, which we were expecting that gap, and it gave us the gap. With some of us that know how to trade the gap, the market will definitely, not at all times, but some occasions, markets tend to close the gap. So this could be what we were expecting. So this is just an intraday trade. I'll still show you the bigger picture. So this was just a quick 30, 32, 30 pips. So for some of us that, that were able to catch that, that's cool because maybe the market opened, I was able to signal. So some of us were able to catch this. So we're already seeing that um, So there's a resistance here. So which, as a swing trader I am, personally, I may not be actually watching out for these small moves, just like these 30 pips. So I may be watching out for this brick house. But now these brick house are gonna take up to, you see, 50 pips more before breaking out here. So, and if it breaks, actually, price is gonna break and correct even if we go down one deep before it takes off. So, so what we actually do, just like I told you yesterday, because I was able to alert on this trade on time, I said, once you see the gap, which it has happened, I say be on the trade, even if you entered, even if you were, even if you entered here, even if you entered at the gap, you had some minus and here you are plus. What you do is to break even and be on the trade. So even if it comes here and comes back, it will take you out. If it comes and breaks out, you are still on the trade. You break again, just like that. You break. So some of us are not in the trade, and you cannot enter a buying trade on resistance. So you're going to allow the trade to break and retest before you can enter. So you allow it to break and retest before you can get into the trade. So that is my trade advice for you because I am always conscious of risk management. So this could be the correction before the next move. Because if you, if you do not see this correction, if you do not see it, you see the you see the price going down again, so that's very 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 important. So you don't just enter into a trade. If you were supposed to get a profit, according to what we said yesterday, this should be your profit. So you don't just see that. Okay, we said you are buying the gap. You just jump in now to buy because that is late entry. So these are important stuff. So and you can also you can also journal your trades when you take trades, you. You put the reason for taking the trades. That could also help you so that you can know some, some of your pattern of trading, some which of them are, are consistent than the other. So, and I told you that AED USD, I trade it uh, together with um, or in correlation with gold and also details and also economic data from China. So 
let me check on gold at this time. So this is gold. Okay. So for me, I'm expecting to take my trade on gold. My own trade, my own buy trade on gold is when I see this move. So that's when I'm gonna take that trade. So I'm gonna take my trade from this level. One to nine six point eight one. So from there, I'm gonna watch out for this move. So this could be the worst it can go. So even if you want to buy from current level, have a tight stop loss. If you want to buy from you have a tight stop loss. Have a tight stop loss. Why? Because if it doesn't give you this correction on this support level, then you will see the price go this way. So we are standing aside for gold for now. So, but if you want to take a trade on gold at this time, want to take a trade at gold, I prefer you buy the pair. I prefer you buy the pair. You have a tight stop loss somewhere around here. Very tight stop loss. This is um 1286.27. One two eight six and it's currently at one two nine zero current price. So very tight stop loss. You can have it tight at that level. Then you can go from there. So that could give you what you want. It can give you this. It can give you this. So that means you are entering here. This is your Entry price EP. This is your stop loss. So you're on the go. You can take profits at different levels. So that's for gold. So, but if you are very, very conservative, allow the market to do this. If the market does that, then you can enter from here. But if you're aggressive, you enter now, then let the market do this. But you don't actually tell the market to do because that's what you are doing if you're entering here. But if you're entering here, tight stop loss. All right, that's for gold. Um, I think we're done with AUD. So we're, we're, we're looking out for breakouts. So, but if it doesn't break out and it start crawling back, start crawling back, then um, probably I don't really expect the downside. I'm also at the upside. I'm bullish AUD USD gold. I'm bullish GDP USD. Bullish all against US, just like we have seen on the dollar index. USD card is quite interesting now. Um, though it gave us an amazing move on Friday. On Friday, but it came to our key level. How to identify key levels is in the course, so you should be able to identify that. So, and um, this is actually giving us um, a kind of correction that we're looking at. Though the market opened with a gap, so um, and I told you that we trade this. We, uh, we trade it um, in correlation with crude oil. So this is crude oil. Um, crude oil. Please, if you can hear me, um, comment on the chat box. Let me know. Uh, um, okay, this is for crude oil. Just like I said, we are still bullish on crude oil. So that's why we are watching out on the, um, on Canadian dollar for strength. So we are still bullish. Though this is this week candle, the daily candle.
All right. So um, this is the daily candle for crude oil. We are still bullish on crude oil. Um, we are still bullish on crude oil. So we are looking for more upside. So this confluence, we we'll call it confluence. So for some, for for those of us that were um that were opportune to do advanced swing trading live. We're able to know what we call the confluence zone. So that's the zone that we actually launch our trigger for big things. So um for crude oil, our bias is bullish. So but if you want to trade crude oil, try to confirm from your broker. And um know if you have enough equity to trade it, because it's quite um, it takes a whole lot to trade it, so try to know that before you're going to trade it. So that's for crude oil. So, but then, um, if that be so, probably we can be watching out for a crash down on this pair. A crash down on this pair. So, but with the way it's going, it's going to crash down. So, but if it gives you a forceful move, it gives you a forceful leg. Any pullback from lower time frame, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you'll be on the trade, the downside. But because we are expecting economic um, events on US, on Canadian dollar, that should be on Friday. Sometimes it makes the currency weak within the week why you get to see the massive move on friday so if you're unable to see much momentum from canadian dollar you can look away but don't drift so far because um we're gonna make out profit from it basically on friday but if you see this move and it comes back be on this trade if you see this move go to a lower time frame then be on the trade so that you can hold it. You can hold it till Friday. So you can hold it till Friday. That could be um, a better party for you. So that's for USD card. We'll still review it back. We we'll have the card chair. The card chair. So I already gave us the signal to buy card chair. Okay. I think um okay I think that was um with um that was with the free group so this is the weekly chart so we're expecting okay okay I didn't I didn't tell us about capture okay let me let me do a walk away on this for now so that should be in the WhatsApp group. Let me go back to the WhatsApp group so that I will just focus on the one that I talked about. So like okay, I said, Doji is, um, is, exists exist in the AUD, USD, New Zealand, USD, Euro card on the monthly, and then Euro JPY is on the weekly. Okay, I talked about Doji, but let me quickly show us I should not GDB US. Let me go to GDB chart to show you the amazing setup that we had. And um, so this is for GDP chart. What a nice setup for GDB chart. So okay. Um, this has been a trade that will be for a long period of time. This breakdown, but then let me just go to a lower time frame. This is the D1 time frame. So at some point, this it has been um, going and correcting, but just the only stop we just had here was just the confluence. That was, that was our point of interest. 
So we had this trend, this flag, this is a flag, there is a big one, but this is on a daily chart. Intercepting with the whole, with the key level. So it's a is a is 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 a is a conference zone. So I'm not gonna talk that much. That will be probably one half questions section. So but with that, we're able to have some pips go on on that pair. And I, I believe some we're able to see that that GDP had a hard gap. So when it opened, that gap also helped us to helped us to see that um um, GDP is likely to give some bullish momentum this week. So though it, it, it doesn't have some news events coming, so, so whenever Brexit tend to give some space, um, the, the currency GBP try to regain strength from collapse. So if we're not, just like this week, we're not gonna have much news from Brexit. So that gives an indication that um, the GDP will tend to regain strength. So, but also ensure you trade cautiously, you trade with setups. So when you look closely here, I guess this is where we had the gap in the market. So when you check your charts, probably your phone or your devices. So somewhere around there, GDP gave us a clear signal. Okay, this first. First, okay, then the first. Okay, okay, this broker doesn't show the gap. It doesn't really show the gap. Um, the gap should be around here. These two candles should be the gap. This broker doesn't show the gap because it shows Sunday, it shows Sunday candles, so you wouldn't see the gap. So, but the gap should be around here. So when that gap developed, so if you were quick enough, you would have been on this trade. So but as we take these live sessions on and on, we can do our best to have it twice a day. Interactive sections, letter downtime. Um, I believe by then we can be able to spot out clear signals and take the trade. So back to the WhatsApp group. I'm just trying to clarify the post. So these ones have doji. I talk extensively on my interest on doji candle on, a, on the weekly and the monthly in the old video. So that's where you see the information. And I talked about my bias extensively on these ones. So I'm not gonna actually repeat them. So but I will just check Euro JPY, um, Euro card, so right now we'll check to see if much has actually happened. Remember, we are also expecting unemployment rate on Euro um, in, in less than two hours. Okay, that should be in less than one hour now. We're expecting unemployment rate on Euro. So that could be very interesting. So Euro JPY, okay, already we also had the gap here, just like a flag. So the space was here, the market forcefully took up speed. So, and we are watching out for those news events coming. So that could give us a rally back to what we have before. So, but just watch out for those events. So, but if Euro goes weak, US is weak, Euro USD may not be really interesting. So you just have to pair them from to other currency pairs that have momentum. Remember JPY, we anticipate no momentum from JPY this week. So we're already setting up JPY. So the best thing you can do is just get a strong one that will go against it. We're already looking at Euro to probably give us the move to probably give us strength. So if once Euro gives us strength in this less time, um, I think that's a good trade to be. If you also have, um, um, let me see, if you also do have good, um, maybe you are quite aggressive, you can also have your risk here, this is 40 pips. 
35. You can use 25. Um, 20 pips tight stop loss. You can buy your JPY now. 20 pips tight stop loss. And you have amazing pips to go for. You can go for 60, 100, 150. All this zone is for you. So you can utilize the zone. Because if we can get positive outcome, then that could actually give us all ones. But so far, so good. Um, Euro data has not been enc encouraging, but technically, we are bullish on the Euro. We are bullish, except for Euro GDP. So, but, I, but I'm going to check that Euro GDP now because that will also help to give us a confirmation. Because I, I did not talk about it the other time. It will help to give us a confirmation. So, we need to know what is going on there. So, already you can see what the euro gdp is, is is trying to give us so it's already trying to signal that bullish move so you can see what is going on here so here is our key level and we're actually having the, the price come back so, and this, so we can have that aggression. So we're watching out for that. We're really, really watching out for that. So that alone gives us a clear signal that we can go bullish on the Euro, on the Euro JPY. We can go bullish. So let me just check my currency meter. I'm using the simplest approach. Pause. So you can see Euro is already weak due to the events we are watching out for at this time. So, so we are we are buying Euro JPY. We're buying the pair. That should be before the news. Tight stop loss, 20 pips if you are buying. If not, just wait for the next 43 minutes and take the trade. Waiting for the outcome is also a very good strategy because um, the euro and the GDP, the volatile guys are not actually, um, their, their investors are actually looking more, um, they're, they're driving more to the stock market now. So, but um, more to the stock market, divert back.